Hey guys, I uh, hope everyone is having a good weekend. We have been busy, busy, busy all weekend. It's kind of crazy how fast the weekends go when you're as busy as we are. Anyways, today is Sunday and in between church services, I went ahead and did mine and Thor's meal prep for the week. He's home three days out of the week, so I prepared him lunch for those three days. He does intermediate fasting, so he doesn't eat breakfast. Uh, he doesn't eat till like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So I prepared him three days worth of lunch. I prepared me five days worth of breakfast and five days worth of lunch. For breakfast, just ground turkey with some peppers in it, scrambled egg whites with some Monterey Jack cheese is what I used. Also, um, for lunch, we will both be having a pan-seared lemon pepper salmon, oven-roasted broccoli, and just plain rice. So, let's get started. So, I purchased these Rubbermaid take-alongs. They have one divider in it. Uh, it separates it into two compartments. The meals will be stored in these bad boys in the refrigerator until they're ready to eat. And I just took this coconut oil cooking spray from Publix and uh, coated the bottom of this wok saucepan. I then turned my burner on medium high heat till it warms up and then um, go back down to medium heat. And the turkey is currently in there browning right now. Just let it cook down some. I have a large family size bag of broccoli florets I just got at Walmart. They're by Bird's Eye. I don't even unthaw them. I just take them straight frozen and put them in a tin foil covered pan. And I preheat my oven to 425 degrees and I put them inside the oven, uh, still frozen. The oven will actually unthaw and roast in the same pan. I spray the tinfoil and the broccoli florets even though they are frozen with that same coconut oil cooking spray. And my turkey is browning. It always kind of trips me up because turkey does not brown as, brown as dark as hamburger, regular beef hamburger meat, but when the pink is gone, it is done. So I'm just gonna take these diced um, three different peppers medley that I purchased at Walmart and just put some directly on the beef and let them cook down in there and you got to stay hydrated when you're cooking. So the turkey is browning and the peppers are cooking down softening up a little in there with it. These are my containers ready for the ground turkey and it is just about ready to go in there. So my turkey's in the canisters. I'm just taking that same pan that I lightly rinsed out, coating it with that same cooking spray, and pouring in my entire container of egg whites, the entire container. These look so gross to me while they're just starting out cooking. Just over medium heat again, and just cook these egg whites down until they are all nice and fluffy. And then I'm just gonna take some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese, lightly sprinkle some in and let it melt, some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna move those on into my containers with the ground turkey. These will be stored in the refrigerator, and I can just take one to work each day with me or eat it before leaving the house. Now my broccoli, all of it would not fit on one pan, so here's the second pan, and it is prepared and roasted. I took this Uncle Ben's rice, it's 90 seconds in the microwave, and I cooked it to be the grain for the meal. And the broccoli will just go in right on top of there. There actually was not enough rice in the packets that I bought, so I just had some bull in the bag rice already there. It cooks on the stove top for about 10 minutes, and it's good to go as well, just plain rice. Then I just mix in a little butter and some salt and uh, it will go directly in those containers. I love bull in the back rice. It's the most convenient thing ever. So there's my broccoli and my rice ready. Second pan of broccoli, still steaming, it's so good. When it's brown, it's charred and it's delicious. And this is what my lovely husband does while I am slaving away at his meals for the week. And that's how I feel about it. 
So just in a regular frying pan, I just took a little butter. Now we're ready for our salmon. It's all thawed out. And I just take some Mrs. Dash lemon pepper seasoning and coat both sides, the flesh side and the skin side. I did buy um, skinless pink salmon just because I'm not a fan of the skin, taking it off and stuff. And I'm a well done type of girl. It doesn't matter if it's ground beef, if it's steak, no matter what it is, I like it good and done so this is extra well done now my salmon is in with my broccoli and rice and it is it looks and smells so good in here y'all but i'm so tired and church is about to start again uh, now all of my meals for the week are prepared and they are stored inside my refrigerator that is breakfast and lunch for each day I'm so excited that it's just so convenient that it's there and I can just grab one when I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great week. Don't forget to check out my blog spot, lifeaftersemicolons.com. Like and subscribe. See you later.